You guys, apparently, this is not a drill. Johnny Depp, next week, is going back on the stand. Hey up, everyone. It's me, Steph, the Alter Nerd. Your nerdy alternative. And welcome to another dose of the Daily Nerd, where I break down the news and true crime story of the day that's pretty much caught me eye. And yes, guys, as I said... This is not a drill. Apparently, sources are coming out saying that next week, none other than Mr. Johnny Depp is going back on the stand to completely finish off, obliterate, destroy Amber Heard's case. What the deuce is going on? I'm going to break it all down for you in a moment. Before I do so, though, a little bit of housekeeping. Firstly, YouTube human reviewer, I see you lurking. I'm not going to say any trigger words or anything that's basically going to offend your ear holes. And to everyone else awesome enough to have clicked on this video, hi, welcome. How are you doing? If you love news and true crime on the daily, served with a little bit of sass and gobbiness, which is basically this, right? You need to make sure the next thing you do is smash the hell out of that subscribe button. Like, share, comment, all of that good stuff. And... Let's jump into it, shall we? So, yes, according to a source uh, that told the New York Post, Pirates of the Caribbean star, Mr. Johnny Depp, is going back on the stand next week. Um, He's going to be questioned, apparently, as a rebuttal witness, either on Wednesday or Thursday, which, to be fair, guys, oh my goodness, mark your freaking calendars. Wednesday, Thursday, my eyeballs and ear holes are going to be all over that court live feed. Oh, my goodness. I'm just going to be here for the ultimate, just final freaking death blow to Amber Heard's case. Oh, I'm all here for it. Um, Now, what's really, really good about this whole situation is the time that's left. So as of Friday, Amber Heard's team had eight hours and 14 minutes left. However, Johnny Depp has a heck of a lot more. 18 hours and 30 minutes left. Over double what Amber Heard has got. Ooh, they have got so much more time to completely eviscerate her case. Oh, yes. Such a power position to be in. I tell you that right now. And experts, they're pretty much turning around and saying, him going back on the stand might not be good for Team Amber Heard. So they've said that he comes across as believable and likable to the jury and that giving him a second round on the stand might actually hurt Amber Heard's case. Yes, he's believable and likable. Why? Because as far as we're concerned, my opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever, Johnny Depp is telling the truth. He was never the aggressor. Amber Heard was. Oh, my goodness. You look at the pictures. You look at the videos. You listen to the recordings, okay? Hello? To me, it's obvious as freaking day that she's the aggressor and he's not, in my opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever. Do you know what I mean? Oh, my goodness. Literally, in the recording itself, she says that she was physically not nice to him. Not once, not once in any of that evidence does it show it the other way around with Johnny Depp. Not once. So, hell yeah, he's believable and likable because as far as I'm concerned, all the evidence is pointing towards Amber Heard is the freaking monster, not freaking Johnny Depp. Oh, but... Here we go. So uh, one of the attorneys that the New York Post uh, spoke to was a civil attorney called Catherine Lizardo. And she said that there's a risk that he's going to have more time being likable on the stand when it's actually Amber's Heard's time to present her case. Hey, put him on the stand. Give him all that time in the world just to reinforce how freaking awesome Johnny Depp is. Yes. Uh, Now, this bit I'm not liking. Seattle defamation lawyer Bruce Johnson agreed Depp's apparent likability could be a problem for Heard. Okay, I take umbrage to the use of apparent likability. There's no freaking apparent about it, okay? Just look at the statistics. When you go on Twitter, just for example, look at the amount of times 
uh, justice for Johnny Depp is used as a hashtag and compare that to the amount of times hashtag I stand with Amber Heard is used. There's no freaking apparent likability about it. It's not apparent. It is real. It is in this reality, okay? He is likable because we believe him because all the evidence points to the fact that he is not the monster, that she is. Oh my goodness, apparent likability. My freaking backside apparent. Oh my goodness, grinds my gears. Anyway, going to what he actually, uh, he, he says here in a quote, he says, that is a huge risk if he's a good witness and he's going to perform well again. Uh, now, a criminal defense attorney and former Californian judge, Hel Halim Danadina, and hopefully I pronounced that right, said that Johnny Depp's very unique personality likely made him appealing to the jury the first time around. Um, now, uh, Halim says, I didn't, he didn't really strike me as someone who was putting on an act or fabricating. The jury is going to want to know whether they can rely on testimony, not based on how smart the witness appears, but how sincere they are. Now, again, this whole, oh, he's likable because of his very unique personality. No, no, it's, it's not just that. It's the evidence. It's how he came across. His body language, what he said, how he said it. Oh, my goodness. Um, as we know, uh, he is completely trying to get justice uh, and he's suing Amber Heard at the moment. Um, and uh, Lizardo uh, from the attorney earlier on says, right now we're hearing Amber Heard's side of the story. Uh, to call her opponent to speak on your behalf sounds counterintuitive. Um, and the Californian uh, ex-judge situation noted that Johnny Depp could try to gain the advantage if he gets a chance to address the jury again, saying uh, if he has been landing with the jury and if the jury is liking him, then more time in front of the jury is a good thing for him. Facts. It may be something that Amber does out of necessity, but that Johnny Depp himself can benefit from. Exactly. So if he's called back on the stand... Uh, as a rebuttal witness by either Amber's side or his own, let's say. Either way, this is a silver lining, guys, because it means that he's able to showcase even more in front of the jury how awesome he is, that he is the one in the right, that he's not the monster that she's painting him out to be. Do you know what I mean? So him going back on the stand next week, this is a big major win. Win for Team Johnny Depp. Oh my goodness, I cannot overstate this enough. Wow. Um, now, uh, jurors, however, wouldn't be given an explanation as to why Johnny Depp is back on the stand, which apparently could confuse the jury. Uh, most of the time when you're doing cross-examination, it sounds hostile. Uh, a jury might think, okay, he's back on the stand. Are they badgering him again? I'm sorry, but I, 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 would, I would like to think that juries are a little bit more smarter than that. Do you know what I mean? Um, Johnson, the defamation lawyer, also said that Erd's team needs to weigh up whether calling Depp again will stretch the jury's attention. As some jurors apparently have reportedly been dozing off while the trial has, has stretched into like its fifth week, which to be fair, guys, I don't know about you lot, but watching these trials on some of these days, yeah, even my eyes have kind of flickered a little bit thinking, uh, do you know what I mean? Like, it's, a, it's been a bit of a slog uh, in, in some areas. You know what I mean? Uh, hopefully, though, it's all for the greater good. Um, but Johnson says, you're putting on a performance for a jury and you don't want to drag it on for too long. In any long trial, that is a consideration. Uh, some of the experts, however, noted that Heard's attorneys may try to get the upper hand over Depp while grilling him again. Um, Virginia defamation attorney Jeremiah Denton said that they suspect uh, that he suspects uh, that they would want to cut Johnny Depp down to size. Try it. Bring it. Not happening. Not happening. Johnny Depp is strong enough to make sure that they don't pull any of that shit. Or if they do, it, it just it just don't happen. They're denied. It's like game over. You thanks for playing. You lost. Try again, right? Ooh. Um. 
But Denton says he did reasonably well in his first appearance on the stand, so I guess they feel they have to necessarily attack his credibility. It might be his memory, his truthfulness, or covering something that hasn't uh, been covered. Um, and the uh, ex-judge turns around and said that Erd's lawyers may, might be able to catch Depp off guard with their questions as they will likely have new topics and new areas to cover, including topics they weren't allowed to quiz him about the first time around. But again, the more time Depp has on the stand, the more opportunity he has either, hang on, to slip up and contradict something he said previously, the experts all agreed, or to reinforce the fact that what he's saying is the absolute damn truth and make the jury like him even more and believe in him even more. I, I, I would say I'd go with that rather than that he trips up because at the end of the day, how can he trip up? As far as I'm concerned, he's telling the truth. And when you tell the truth, you don't trip up because the truth is the truth, right? Simple as. Oh, but guys, oh my goodness, next week... Get your eyeballs and ear holes ready because, oh my goodness, the sources are saying Johnny Depp is going back on the stand next week. And in my opinion, conspiracy theory or whatever, it's going to be the freaking death blow to Amber Heard's case. Game over. Thanks for playing. There's the door. Shut it on the way out. Woo! What do you guys think after all that? Sound off with your cubs in the comments down below. And if you love this video and love news and true crime analysis on the daily, served with a little bit of sass and gobbiness, which is basically this, right? You need to uh, you need to make sure you smash the hell out of that subscribe button, like, share, comment, all of that good stuff. And until the next time, you guys, later's.